uh, I'm doing great. I is I, well, because I've been watching these Holocaust TikToks, <laughs> which, uh, <laughs> I know the people, they want to ban TikTok, but there's such quality things being, uh, do you know what this is? It's so it's, I've, I've only seen one dude, but it's good to raise awareness. It's fucking hilarious dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I texted, I, I said this thing to Bobby, but apparently girls go on. <laughs> So girls Ugh. go on, and boys, girls and boys, they go on TikToks, and they pretend to be Holocaust victims. So just scroll it down, uh, Bobby. There's a great, it's such a great, um, oh, by the way, first apologies. Uh, I apologize for not having apologies to the last two episodes, but we just had so much to get to. So I'm sorry. But I'm sure this one with Shane Gillis, we are going to have to apologize for next week. Yeah, probably. Yeah, everybody listening. Okay. So not this girl. Do the first one. <laughs> this is the one I saw. This is the one I saw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hi! Welcome to heaven. Why do you look like that? I died. <laughs> Wait, who's talking to her? So this girl's face is all bruised, and it says, "Oh, hi! Welcome to heaven." So this is just music in the background, I guess. There's no. I think the other girl actually speaks. Oh, hi! Welcome to heaven. So I guess this is depicting. How did you die, and why do you look like that? <laughs> I died by gas chambers in Auschwitz. <laughs> I am so sorry. Doesn't... I am so sorry. Thank you. There you go. That's a great little vignette. So when you die, go to heaven. This, the first thing you'll see is, uh, what's this girl's name? I don't know. Patricia. I wonder if she's even Jewish. I doubt it. But I like that she's all brute. Like, does a gas chamber bruise you up? And then once you get to heaven, you don't. It doesn't heal your face? Like you no. would keep your Holocaust bruising? Okay. Let's look at the next one. Because I think well, someone is talking. Don't don't Jews not believe in heaven? Um well now that they see this, maybe it'll turn the turn that around. Yeah, they better start acting better. Yeah. Do better. Okay, wait, press I gotta read it out loud again, god damn it. Okay. So <laughs> this is like I guess they think that it was silent film times in uh <laughs> I was in my home making a stew <laughs> <laughs> and the Nazis came and they broke down my door and started kicking me and beating me out of my own home. They shoved us on a train with a bunch of other people from my town. Wait, we were all going to the same place. Auschwitz. <laughs> They've only heard of one. I know. And we knew we were never coming back. I think you'd, I think historically, no, you didn't. I can't imagine how scary that would have been. Oh, this is the reply. Someone going, I can't imagine how scary that would have been. Look at this girl's face. So, so, okay. So this is a great, this is probably, uh, this should be at the Holocaust Museum. Like when you put on the headphones and look at the exhibit, like I was in my home making a stew, a Jew stew. And then the Nazis kicked down my door. God. Okay. Now this kid's great. I don't think he says anything. Okay. But what he's doing is lip syncing to Bruno Mars. And he incorporates the Holocaust into it, which I think no. is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Press play. Look at this kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, please replay that. Just play it again. So just he's lip syncing to Locked Out of Heaven. Oh, by Bruno Mars. I mean, this pretty much sums up the whole Holocaust. People are just chilling, you know? <laughs> That's all I like. get that joke. Okay. What? <laughs> Through the showers. <laughs> So, you know, he should have put Get That Jew on top because it looks like they were already just going for a shower and then they saw a Jew on the way to a legitimate <laughs> shower. So I would have reversed that. Yeah, it was oh. like my high school football team's locker room. Wow, these kids Pretty are Pretty often. Yeah, like, yeah, everybody get, get, get showers. And then we'd be <laughs> in there and be like, holy fuck, there's a Jew in here? Right, Obama. 